In this video, we're going to be looking at the controls in an automatic car. Jump in, Kate. Okay, Kate, welcome to your first lesson. Before we get underway, I just want to run through the controls of this automatic car. Sure. Okay, so the pedals. The pedals control the motion of the car. So down here on the floor, you'll see we've got two pedals. Mm -hmm. On the right, you've got an accelerator. Sure. That controls the speed of the car. Mm -hmm. The one on the left is your brake. Okay, and that, of course, slows down or stops the car. Your foot will be positioned in front of the brake pedal. Yep. Your right foot, with the ball of your foot resting on the pedal, and your heel towards the ground. Then to go to the accelerator, you simply pivot your foot across at a 45 degree angle. No worries. And touch down on the accelerator. And what do I do with my left foot while I'm doing that? Your left foot during all this will do nothing. It can just be kept out of the way. Just put it to the side there like that? Just like that. Now the accelerator does go all the way to the floor, right. but we don't necessarily want it to because that'll make us go very fast. Okay. Your brake won't go all the way to the floor. You'll feel it stiffen as you apply more pressure and the, the brakes will come on harder. So the accelerator can go all the way to the floor, but doesn't necessarily need to. That's right. The brake will get tighter the more pressure I apply, and my left foot just stays to the side and keeps That's out it. the way. Perfect. Sure. Next, the gear shift, which you move with your left hand. And you can see written down the side of the console a bunch of letters and numbers. Okay, so we'll just talk you through those. At the top, we have P, that mm -hmm. stands for park. Okay. When that's selected, the wheels are locked and the car shouldn't be able to go anywhere. Right. If it's in park, it's a good idea to use it in conjunction with the handbrake. Okay. okay. Just in case one fails, the other's there just to make sure the car doesn't go anywhere. Sure thing. And should I use the park and handbrake even when I'm on the flat? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Uh, it, it doesn't take much of a gradient to start the car rolling. Also, a strong gust of wind can set it off. Okay. All right. The next is R, and that's for reverse. Naturally enough, we select that when we want to go backwards. Okay. Next one down is N, that stands for neutral. When the car's in neutral, it can freewheel, so it can go either forwards or back. Sure. Down from that, we have D, which stands for drive, and that will operate all of your forward gears, low, second, and third. That's the one that you'll use most often, and the car will automatically change up and down between those gears. Sure. Down from that, we've got second and L. Right. So these are your low gears. Those are selected when you need a bit more control. You might be uh, going up or down a steep gradient uh, or towing something heavy, or something like if the car's a bit cold and you need to get up a steep driveway, put it in low and, and just use that until it warms up. Okay. It just stops the car from selecting the next gear up. Sure. Okay, so it just makes life a little easier on the, on the transmission. Also, you'll notice there's a wee button on the gear lever. Oh, yes. Now, that needs to be depressed in order to take it out of park, okay? And right. in most cars, you'll also need to put your foot on the foot brake. So, I put my foot on the foot brake, mm -hmm. push the button, and go from park to reverse, mm -hmm. reverse to neutral, yep. neutral to drive, which are all my forward gears. That's right. Drive to second, and second to L, which are my two right. low gears. Great. Now, moving between low, second, and drive, you shouldn't have to touch the button, okay? And that's a bit of a safety switch. If you press the button in, you could easily run right through neutral and into reverse. Sure. That won't do the gearbox any favors. Okay. Okay. 